at 33 feet long, roughly 7,300 pounds dry. This mid-level RV is great for that adventurous small family or couple that just says, you know what, we want some space, style, and features packed into a lightweight RV. Check out the Coleman Light 2955RL. Hey, what's happening? It's Chris Young, just checking out the brand new for 2021 Coleman Light 2955RL. Um, right away, it's a little dark. I will tell you that. Um, I thought for sure there'd be more lights in here, but unless I'm missing some, it's, it's kind of dark in the back, but it's still okay because you take a look around at these giant windows, which we don't have, you know, the shades pulled up, kind of make sense as to why there's not as many mushroom lights as, as I would expect. Still a great unit because the Coleman lights are light on weight, but definitely not on features. Upgraded fiberglass, upgraded insulation, upgraded kitchen, upgraded appliances. Uh, this is a great mid-level RV, in my opinion. So if you're looking to kind of go from that smaller RV to something a little bit bigger with some features and you don't want to go full bore into a luxury travel trailer, this is one to definitely put at the top of your list. The 2955 sits at 33 feet long, roughly 7,300 pounds dry. Can sleep four to six comfortably. And you'll notice the back rear wall dominated by this little jackknife sofa that has the little legs that come out which is kind of cool. It's almost like a little ottoman, you know, push those down when you're ready to turn this into a sleeper. Uh, Cause a lot of times jackknives can be a little awkward. I like how this one has the handle. Boom. There you go. And here's your sleeping space. You got the leatherette. It's plush. It's comfortable. I would still get a little topper because you do get hot and sweaty on this leatherette, but this is kind of how I sleep anyway. Um, I definitely get one person on here. Uh, two, if you want to cramp or if you got small kids who just want to kind of share the space. I mentioned the large panoramic windows, wood balances there with that ironwood decor. You got frosted glass inlays here in your storage cabinets, the shaker style. I like the look and feel of this. Darker cabinetry, lighter walls, darker furniture. Darker furniture shows wear and tear less, plus it shows stains less. So if you're going to be using it a lot and you know the kids are going to be bouncing all over the place or the dogs are going to be all over the place, good spot to have. Got end tables on both sides, plus 110 outlets right there. So you can do some phone charging if you want to. There's no storage in there, but you could put a plant or a light reader, you know, whatever on there. Over here on the campsite, we got the slide. We actually got two slides, posing slides on this one. Once again, huge windows, wood balances. I got my Thomas Paine recliners, which are movable. You can move these around. I've even seen people take them outside and use them outside, which, you know, hey, it's your RV, go for it. But the nice addition of these, you have the cross light of the, the windows in the slide. A, a lot of RVs, especially in this price range, don't have that. But to me, that's a great feature. Good airflow, good comfort, carpetless slide, slip resistant, easy to clean flooring. I'm going to get to the booth here in a minute. But first, I want you to see this island kitchen because the opposing slides really opens up the space, allowing us to have that. You got the pressed surface countertop matching the decor of the RV. I like the light with the little dark streaks in it. The undermounted farmhouse style sink with the apron, high rise faucet and sprayer nozzle, giving you complete reach from corner to corner. Good storage in this one too, which uh, for 2021, that's what Coleman wanted to upgrade. They wanted to give you upgraded storage capacity. Finished off solid wood construction on your drawers, full extension on the ball bearing drives as well. Brush nickel fe features all the way around. Storage shelf underneath the, the uh, farmhouse style sink. Plus you got another little compartment here and a drawer, just good space all the way around. Pot and pan drawer underneath my Greystone oven, which is glass covered. So you need more prep space. You got it right there. Solid surface here, the hood, the Greystone microwave flush mounted. And I love these, these cooktops because they got the grill style grates and you got the Greystone 16 inch oven there as well with a little LED accent light on the handles. Like that drawer space, storage space. I mean, look, 
you got room to store your stuff. It's a 33 foot RV with opposing slides in the living area, which means you're going to have some good space. Uh, set it up as a vacation home if you want to. If you don't want to get stuck because one part of the family loves the beach, the other part of the family loves the mountains or the lake or going to grandma's, you don't have to get stuck in buying a vacation home somewhere or renting a spot for six weeks. Take your RV, take it to the beach one week, take it to the mountains the next week. That's the great part about it because you're going in your home. You're not using something that somebody else has been in. Seven cubic foot Dometic fridge freezer combo over here with gas, electric, and the automatic switch. Good space there too, over seven cubic feet. And a good little coffee station here with the applique backsplash, storage unit there, frosted glass inlay in my compartments here. Just good space. Kudos to Coleman for listening to what the people want uh, and saying, hey, we need more space. But Chris, you say all that space, but doesn't have a pantry. Don't it? There you go. Uh, now, if you really want to get crazy, you can turn this into a ward or just a regular storage because these shells do come out. I've seen people put their hunting cases, uh, especially for those good premier rifles in there because uh, it's safe. You got the little door that keeps it shut. Over here to the entertainment center, more frosted glass inlay, component storage up there, or just Girl Scout cookies. That's where I put the good ones probably. A little TV, 32 inch, surprising. I thought we'd have like a, you know, 40 or 50 inch here, but you got the TV on the swivel and it has also the arm that comes out. So you can move it around depending on who wants to watch TV. Component shelf here, more drawer storage which is actually a pretty nice addition. Usually you just get like a little shelf. So having that there is, is very nice. And Eufurian AM FM Command Center. Now this is dual zones. You can play music in and out. It's also Bluetooth, HDMI, and USB. You can control it from uh, the, the wireless NFC app. Uh, good for just playing that music, keeping the entertainment going. And you also have the little 4700 BTU fireplace on this one too. Multiple flame settings, multiple light settings. Does a good job of knocking the chill off the air because it's electric and has the blower. And you got the little storage compartments there. Now, as far as HVAC goes in this one, you do have a 30,000 BTU furnace, a 15K BTU AC with the quick cool right here, uh, which is ducted. You got your entertainment speakers mounted in the ceiling. And then when it's time to enjoy that music and the camp cooked meal, Maybe you're making some eggs Benedict for breakfast. You want to watch the sunrise. You got the carpetless slide. You got large panoramic windows. You got an LED underlit booth dinette right here with the high rise table that does reduce down into a sleeper. And this is when you realize you're reconnecting and making those moments that are going to last. This is what the family's going to love right here, man. It's you you're out you're disconnected and you're reconnecting. And that's what RVing is all about. You get to see, open up the shades, look at the, look at the ocean, look at the river, look at the mountains, look at the plains, look at wherever you wanna go. You're out and you're doing it in your RV. Just gotta watch your head on the slides cause there you go, I'm 6'2". I think the slides are 5'8". Um, but I do like the, the inlay here on the solid wood construction. Making our way down to the master, as you can see, if you need to access the bathroom on this one, you can because the door is right there leading into the bathroom while you're in transit. Uh, when the slides are in, um, you can easily get to the bathroom here. Come into the master bath. You got 80 inch high ceilings in these as well. And of course this camper is eight feet wide. So good space up top. I got my fan and my vent there. My corner mounted plastic bowl with the foot flush here. Good countertop space on my bathroom with my vanity sink. Little storage compartment right there. Mirrored medicine cabinets. Got the raised lips. That's always good to have. Just keep stuff sturdy. And the single sh shower surround right here, the 36 incher with the glass enclosure, residential feeling. I like the inlay because not only does it bring in natural light, it does give you additional headroom. Yeah, we don't even need the lights on in here. But herringbone pattern, I'm not cramped left or right or up or down being six foot two. I got good space. I got my shower nozzle and my controls all right there. Step out into that easy to clean linoleum flooring. My little wooden door giving me some separation of space and another wooden door lead me into my master bedroom with the queen size bed, storage underneath, strut supported, 
that's a nice feature to have. Usually you don't see that in kind of the you know little entry slash mid level, but plenty of more storage up here too. Mirrored ward storage on both sides. Frosted glass inlay here. I got me a nightstand with a dual USB plus a pullout drawer and dual USB on the other side. And 110, I believe, down below too. I know, yeah, 110 down below on both sides as well. You want to mount the TV? You could put it here. Not a fan of that because when I'm laying here, that means to watch TV, I got to do this. That's, that's just not my thing, man. You can, you can put it here. I like to have it mounted there, but there's no mounting bracket here. Just a little, you know, just a little thing for me. 110 cable connection here, large windows for cross breeze and for light and more ward storage over here with pullout drawers. Once again, it's solid wood construction, brush nickel fixtures all the way around. And if you want to set up a second AC, you can put one here in this vent. It's already pre-wired for you. Very nice little feature, um, which is one that if, if you can do it, I suggest to people, go ahead and get your uh, bedroom AC, especially if you're going to use this as a couples coach. So that way you don't have to have this running all the time. You can just have that one running. You can control the environment a little bit more. Just, you know, just an opinion. Um, but for the upgraded features, the lightweight, the function, the form, and the flow, this 2955RL is a great mid-level RV for that adventurous couple or that family looking to upgrade the camping experience a little bit. We've seen the inside. Now let's go check out the outside. So here we are on the outside of the 2955RL Coleman Light 2021 version. Sorry, I'm just really happy because summer's here, the sun's bright, I, man. And we're talking about RVs. How can you not get excited talking about your vacation home? Come on, man. Fiberglass exterior on this one, that aerodynamic profile with the LED running lights. You got your mini rock guard here. Plus you got that, that one piece frame underneath, giving you some good security to keep this coach on top of. 20 pound LP tanks, powered tongue jack with LED light for additional safety and security. Plus you got power stabilizer jacks on this one as well and an enclosed underbelly. Now what Coleman has done for 2021, they've kind of upgraded what they're calling the cavern storage. Uh, you'll notice that it's finished off. You do have a little LED accent light right there for additional safety and security, but look how nice it is clean and finished off. Good space for those chairs, rifles, beach towels, fishing rods, whatever you want to do. And the storage compartments are magnetic anti-slam latches with the covered hinges, which means you don't have those rush streaks going down there if you do get wet weather. Solar charge, 10 amp quick connect right there if you want to trickle charge those batteries. You got the large awning with the LED light strip on this one as well and sealed safety glass all the way around. Now these have the solid step over steps, which I'm also a big fan of. Not only do they give you a little bit more additional safety and security because you know they're hard down to the ground. The top step, you'll notice with the three strips of grip tape, a little bit bigger, which means it's also more safe, but pet friendly. Large friction hinge door, large grab handle, slide right here because we have opposing slides in that living area. And Bobby, you'll notice this is a double axle RV. You got those aluminum wheels on there, nitro filled tires, so you won't get the streaking on the Dexter Easy Lube axles. Here are my external speakers. You got the rear stabilizer jack here, 110 power and cable connection right there. Four by four sewer hose storage on the back, plus spare tire mounted as well. You'll see this one has the arch ceilings with the three inch rubber nozzles on them and backup camera. And look at that large window in the back right there behind that little jackknife sofa. Good windows, man. You know, like I mentioned on the inside, it's a little bit dark, but if we'd had the shades up, you really would have been able to see the light here. City water connection, external shower with hot and cold, 50 amp service here because we are set up for a second AC. Plus you got your cable connection right there. Come on around. The, the other side, this is that slide that has the fridge and the stove top in it. And here we go with our main terminations. Gray tank, black tank. You've got a 60 gallon fresh, 39 gallon gray, and 28 gallon black on these. There's your terminations right there, if you can see them. Good space, storage wise. Uh, 60 gallon for fresh is about as big as you're gonna get uh, in the industry. So if you wanna go off the grid, you got the storage to do that water wise. Black tank flush right there. 
Other side, I'm gonna pass through storage right here. But the most important part of any RV is gonna be this info panel right here. This is where you come to see, okay, how much does this vehicle weigh? For example, unloaded vehicle weight, 7,300 pounds. Gross vehicle weight, 9,680 pounds. That's where you take that information back to your specialist at Camping World and at Gander and you say, hey, uh, what does that mean? Here's what my vehicle can tow. Uh, is this right for me? Let them guide you down the path because really, how much can you tow? How many people do you need to sleep? And where are you going to camp? Because three season camping is different in Buffalo than it is in Albuquerque. You just got to know how to do it, man. Know the factors. Let our folks guide you down the path and find the one that's right for you. But at 33 feet long, roughly 7,300 pounds, can, e can easily sleep three to four people. Um, upgraded features and amenities. This Coleman Light 2955RL is a good one if you're looking for that type of coach. Uh, believe me some comments down below. Let me know what you like about it. What do you not like about it? Because we love hearing from you. And while you're at it, please click like, subscribe, and notify. So the next time we get a video, you're the first one to get it. I'm Chris Young for Camping World, Ganda RV and Outdoors. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed it. And please come check out an RV because they are fun, man. I'll see you soon.